Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are going to start a lecture series on business research methods. We are going to start today from basics, very basics of research definition, different type of research such as applied and basic research, and then we will move on to the other topics of business research in which we are going to include research proposals, research methodologies, uh, how to write a research thesis, how to write a research article, and how we can conclude a research from very start to the end. So let's start with our today lecture, that's research methodology basics. And in this lecture, we are going to define the research. Research is a process of finding solutions to a problem after a thorough study and analysis of situational factors. So in this, it's very simple that it's a complete process. There are several steps involved in, the, in it in which we will go through many steps to find out the solution of a problem. So in simple wording, we can say that research is a process to find out a solution of a specific problem, a specific industrial problem. So managers in organization const constantly engage themselves in studying and uh, analyzing issues and hence are involved in some form of research actively as they make decisions at the workplace. So actually they are always involved in one or another kind of research because they are facing uh, always they are facing problems and they are always trying to find out the solution of those problems. So Sometimes managers make good decision and the problem gets solved. Sometimes managers make poor decision and the problem persists. So the difference between making good decisions and poor decisions lies in how managers go about decision making process. It depends upon the decision making process or you can see it, it depends upon the type of research they are doing. So good decision making fetch a yes answer to the following question. Do managers identify what exactly the problem lies? In research, we say research problem. So have they identified the actual research problem? Do they correctly recognize the relevant factor in the situation needing an investigation? Uh, so if yes, then do they know what type of information are to be gathered, data collection? So if all these steps will be true, will be done correctly decision making is merely a process of choosing from among alternative solutions to resolve a problem and research helps to generate viable alternatives of for effective decision making so there can be several alternatives researcher have to pick the best suitable decision the best suitable alternative to that specific problem business research can be described as the systematic and organized effort to investigate a specific problem encountered in the work setting that need a solution. In simple words, in business setup, when you feel a problem, when you see a problem and you need a solution of that problem, the process of finding solution, finding a problem and up to the, up to, up to the end and finding a solution is called basically business research. Business research comprises a series of steps designed and executed with the goal of finding answers to the issue that of concern to manager in the work environment. It can be explained in the next slide. It's about somehow basic research. So uh, research, there are few steps which are involved in research. The first thing is to know where the problem area exists in the organization. So the main thing in research is problem identification your problem of statement, why you want to conduct this research. And second is to identify as clearly, as specifically as possible, the problem that need to be studied and resolved. So then you, you need to clarify your that problem that what you are going to answer the answer in, the, in this research. So gather information, analyze the data and determine the factor that are associated with the problem and solve it by taking the necessary corrective measures or yeah, actions. So you see the first step is being given more consideration that is problem statement. And then in one sentence we can say, when you have a problem, you have to collect information, you have to analyze your data and you have to determine those factors which are going to solve this problem. Uh, research and the managers in the industry 
the managers encounter big and small problem on a daily basis which they have to solve by making the right decision in business research is usually conducted to resolve problematic issues in the area of accounting finance management and marketing among others so a problem can occur in any of the field and managers good manager is who study those problem and find out a solution of those problems so in business there are two type of main research first is to solve a current problem faced by the manager in work setting uh, such research is called applied research if you are in, a, in, in an industry you are working there and you are in in research department a uh, company is facing some problem you are going to study that problem and conducting a research so it's applied research it may be you are in 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 that industry in that company our company may hire an external consultant he or she will conduct the research in either case it's called applied research the second is uh, basic research to generate a body of knowledge about how to solve problems that could be occurred in an organization you are not in organization neither someone have asked you to solve, to to provide a solution of any problem but you know that this kind of problem can be raised can be occurred in the organization so you are going to conduct a study on that and you are going to extend the body of knowledge by that study this is called basic or fundamental research it is also known as pure research so let's discuss with examples the applied research is an apple ipod sales increased by 200% from 2001 to 2008 but the sale decreased by 6% in 2009 so here is the problem what is the reason why sales has been decreased if apple is going to conduct a study are going to hire a consultant and telling this problem that provide a solution to this problem it's going to be the applied research and the example of basic research can be university professor engages in basic research in an effort to understand and generate more knowledge about various aspect of business such as how to improve the effectiveness of information system how to integrate technology how corporate governance can improve firm performance how a, a university teacher can perform better teaching in in which environment they can perform how students of a specific university or how students are satisfied by the university setups so there can be several questions but no one is asking you to provide a solution of this problem these are the general kind of problem and you are thinking of those problem and then going to conduct a research it's called basic research so distinction between applied and basic research is applied research is specifically aimed at solving a currently experienced problem so if if a problem is being experienced uh, research is being conducted that is called applied research basic research has a broader objective of generating knowledge and understanding of phenomena and problem that occur in various organizational setting so both type of research follow the same steps of systematic inquiry to arrive to a, uh, a, a solution to a problem so researcher can be internal in the organization and researcher can be external so internal researcher have better chance of being uh, readily accepted by the employees employee will accept those research because they are among themselves and do know they know that they have studied our problem and they are providing us the solution on the other hand the externals have a wealth of experience from having worked with different type of organization that have had same or similar type of problems so problem uh, so solution can be provided a better solution maybe can be provided by external consultant so that's almost all from today lecture research uh, basic research applied research internal researcher or consultant external researcher and consultant consultant so please uh, go through this uh, video if you have any comment or any problem please do comment subscribe the channel and hope to see you in the next video with a further bit bit, uh, bit more detail about research methodology thank you